uh, Medicaid over the 10 year period, what we're doing is basically taking a page out of the successful welfare reform policies of the 1990s that President Clinton signed into law, and we're sort of replicating those strategies to other parts of law, Medicaid in particular. With Medicaid, we're proposing to block grant the program back to the states and grow the program at a more sustainable rate. Medicaid's broken. Throwing more money at a broken system we've proven doesn't work. So we grow it at population plus inflation, population growth plus inflation. But more importantly, from talking to dozens of governors, we're giving them the freedom and the flexibility to customize Medicaid to meet the needs of their particular populations. In Wisconsin, we think we have a better way of doing it than say maybe New York or Nevada. And so we want to empower the states with the ability, because they already manage the program, but they get a lot of federal strings. We have successful programs that take years of getting waivers, block renting to the states and let them customize it to meet the needs of their particular populations. Now Medicare, we propose, and this is, this is a little lost in some of the TV ads you hear these days, we propose to not change the benefits for people above the age of 55. More to the point, unlike the president's health care law, which takes half a trillion dollars from Medicare, not to extend its solvency, but to spend it on the president's health care law, they also have a, a board called the IPAB, which is designed to sort of impact price controls. We repeal that board because that affects current seniors.